Welcome to Sports News. I'm Barong Tony Uranta. Ahead of tomorrow's elective Congress of the Nigeria Football Federation, former international player Emmanuel Babayero has appealed to delegates on the urgent need to revamp the dwindling fortunes of the nation's football. Mr. Babayero says the rot to the nation's football is a combination of the decay of many years, which can be corrected with the right leadership in place. The ex international is also concerned with the present position of the African champions, Nigeria Super Eagles, as they struggle to qualify for the next year's Nations Cup. And elsewhere, Manchester City's first choice goalkeeper, Joel Hart, will return for English Premier League champions in the Champions League match at home to AS Roma tomorrow night after being replaced by Willy Caballero for the last two games. Hart was in superb form in the 1-0 defeat against Bayern Munich in Manchester City's opening game, keeping the Bavarians out almost single-handedly until a deflected winner in the dying seconds. With Roma also winning their first match, he knows that anything short of victory will leave City with an uphill battle to reach the last 16. Now tennis and Grigor Dimitrov earlier today defeated Fernando Verdasco 6-1-3-6-6-3 in the first round of the China Open. The Bulgarian, who is currently ranked 11th in the race to the ATP World Tour Finals in London, sealed the victory in one hour and 35 minutes when Spain's Verdasco hit a return shot wide. Dimitrov will play Frenchman Julien Bernatau or Spain's Pablo Angela in tomorrow's second round. And finally, we end with golf, <coughs> where Captain Paul McGinley is, has saluted Sir Alex Ferguson for his contribution to Europe's triumphant Ryder Cup campaign, calling the former Manchester United manager a guiding light to him and his team. The 72-year-old Scott was a constant presence in the locker room as Europe beat the United States 16.5 points to 11.5 on Sunday to retain the trophy. McGinley said he was careful not to overdo the celebrations on Sunday night because he wanted to soak up every joyful moment. And that's it on Sports News for tonight. I'm Barang Tony Uranta. Being ball, we're back with a wrap. To the foreign scene now, in spite of efforts by police to keep rioters off the streets, thousands of pro-democracy protesters are blocking Hong Kong streets shutting down the territory's business hub and ignoring appeals to leave. Reports say they remained on the streets overnight after a day that saw riot police deploy tear gas and batons in a bid to disperse them. The Hong Kong government says riot police were being withdrawn as people had mostly calmed down, but some banks and schools are closed and there is transport chaos. Protesters, a mix of students and supporters of the Occupy Central pro-democracy movement, are angry at Beijing's plans to vet candidates for Hong Kong's 2017 leadership elections. They want a free choice of candidates when they cast their ballots for the chief executive, something Beijing says is out of the question. Well, it's celebration all the way on entertainment news, from movie premieres to the grand finale of Maltina dance show and weddings. Maya Waagundele has the details. On entertainment news tonight, it was a massive star-studded turnout for the world premiere of Kunle Afolayo's highly anticipated October 1 movie in Lagos, Nigeria. Celebrities including Funke Akindele Tunde Kelani, Sasha P, Gabriel Afolayo, as well as the cast and crew came out for the event which signaled the official release of the movie that will hit cinemas nationwide on October 1st, Nigeria's 54th independence anniversary. However, in an earlier interview, Kunle Afolayo, who produced, directed, and also played a leading role in the movie, expressed fears that the movie will be pirated, but said he hopes to recoup his investment before the pirates have their way. It's a shame, but that is why I'm approaching different distribution areas, so that um, if I recoup my investment and maybe a little change on it, you know, it's still going to be pirated anyway. Well, it is okay to congratulate the Uteri family as they danced their way to win the 8th edition of the Maltina Dancehall Competition. Chris Elims was at the grand finale and tells us more about that. This is Maltina Dancehall Season 8, the 
grand finale! After over three weeks of rigorous and pulsating moments at the Maltina Dance Hall Season 8, the excitement comes to a head as rhythm meets energetic and creative dance steps. Who goes home with the coveted prize? The Uso Dimas, Uteres, Otigues, or Nakes. The grand finale lifts up to its billings as judges and instructors also take to the stage showing they are masters of the game. Performances can high and tension gradually builds a notch higher with the time approaching for dance to become cash. What a big prize! Ten million naira. Voting is concluded and we are faced with a moment of truth. Friends and family members of the Uteres go ecstatic. I feel very, very good, sir. Very good, very happy. And I'm so glad to be here. And I'm so glad to be the winner of Martina Dazos today, sir. The brand management also share in the moment. I've, I've hardly no words. I mean, high, high quality, happiness. It was, the team was rhythm of happiness. And I think the performances we saw tonight were amazing. Nigerians express happiness through dance. And there's that merger between happiness and rhythm. Martina is at the core of it. And we're excited about what has happened. As more families lace their boot for the ninth edition, the brand management promises a bigger, better deal. Chris Elams, Channels Television News. Congratulations are in order again as Hollywood's most eligible bachelor and famous actor George Cooney got married to human rights lawyer Amal Alamuddin over the weekend. That's all on NCM News. Let's head back for the main news. Celebrations indeed. Well, the main news again. A federal high court has vacated an order empowering AMCON to take over the Murtala Muhammad Airport, MMA2. The president has conferred national honors on 313 Nigerians for exemplary conduct. And protests in Hong Kong have continued as tens of thousands of people camped on the streets and defied calls to go home. Well, that's it on the news at 10 tonight. Thank you very much for watching. Up next is Focus on Africa. I'm Bimbo Louie. Bye for now.